Are you beginning to feel anxiety and uncertainty as election day approaches? Well, you're not the only one. You know, some results from this year's Gallup polling offer some reassurance. The results reveal for the very first time in 30 years some unexpected shifts regarding presidential electability. I'm going to share with you those numbers, analyze the new trends, and explain how it will impact this election for both the candidates and for voters like you. Are you ready? Let's do it. Gallup just released its polling for the third quarter of this presidential year. That's from July to September. And it had some very interesting indicators or predictors of who is more likely to take the White House this November. So what does the data say? Well, the first predictor of presidential electability, according to this poll, centers around party identification and party leaning. And actually, Gallup says this is a very strong indicator. So here's the truth. <laughs> and I was shocked when I found this out. And I taught history for over two decades, and I didn't even know this. But here's what Gallup says. Gallup says that for the last three decades, more people have identified as Democrats in their party affiliation or leaning than Republicans. So you may be wondering what I wondered. Well, then how did Republicans win elections these past 30 years? Well, the years that the Democrats won the, the White House, voters identified themselves as Democrats by an average margin of nearly 8% over self-identified Republicans. They still led, but that, that margin was a little bit wider. The years that the Republicans won, that margin was narrowed to right around 3%. So the Dems still had an edge in party affiliation, but the Republican Party in the years they won managed to narrow that gap. Here's the big news from this Gallup polling. And it didn't get much press at all and should have ha had more press. But for the first time in three decades, there are more voters who self-identify as Republicans or are leaning Republican than Democrats. And Gallup says that's by a margin of about 48% for Republicans and 45% for Democrats. The second predictor of presidential electability, according to Gallup and their polling, centers around voters' views on leadership and solving the nation's biggest problems. So here's the question that Gallup asked them. Which political party do you think can do a better job of handling the problems that you think are most important, Democrats or Republicans? Now Gallup tells us that the way that voters answer this question is actually highly predictive of election outcomes based upon the, the, their past history. So here's what Gallup says is a fact, the party that is rated as better in voters' minds in handling the most important issues or the most important problems during that election year have won all but three presidential elections the last 76 years. So in 2024, voters have stated repeatedly in multiple national polls that the number one issue is the economy or inflation tied in with that, and immigration is pretty much a close second. So in 2024, Gallup voters said that the Republicans can best handle these election issues by uh, an average percentage here of 46% going to the Republicans and 41% going to the Democrats. Now, before I give you the third predictor of presidential electability, uh, if you haven't, if you've gotten some value for what you've watched so far, you've learned something, take a second and hit the like button for us. And if you haven't subscribed to our Prez Politics channel yet, take a chance and do that right now so that you can stay up with our future content. Now, the last one, the third predictor of presidential electability. Now, this one does not have as strong of as an indicator uh, of a presidential electability like the first two. But here's the question that Gallup asked in this poll. Looking ahead the next few years, which political party do you think will do a better job of keeping the country prosperous, the Democrats or the Republicans? Now, the last 16 presidential elections from 1951 with Dwight Eisenhower up to the present, the party 
that has been viewed as the most able to keep the United States prosperous has won 12 out of the last 16 elections. So in 2024, Gallup asked voters this year who is going to keep more likely keep the United States more prosperous. And by a, a percentage of 50%, they said the Republican Party and Trump to 44% with Harris and the Democrats. So what does these results tell us? Well, if you're a Republican, uh, the results offer you some reassurance that Trump is perhaps Trump likely going to take back the White swear. House. That uh, Gallup looked at uh, this whole poll and, and looked actually at eight different factors, and we just covered three, but all of those factors point towards a Republican win in November. Now, the, the data shift showing that there's more people now uh, leaning Republican than in the past, that shouldn't be so surprising because we are hearing that a, a, large, a larger number of African Americans, especially men, are leaning towards Trump. Uh, there are more Hispanics that are indicating that they're likely also going to vote for Republicans or for Trump. And so what, what kind of an impact has this had on the campaigns? Well, Trump is continuing to stay with the message of the economy and inflation and immigration from the past few years. Uh, he's even attempted to bring in new voters, uh, visiting blue states like California and New, new York. And a lot of people are saying, well, wh why would he do that if he's not going to win those, those states? But Harris uh, is attempting to message on the economy and inflation and immigration. And her campaign is not really believing that she's really having the effect that like they'd like for her to. So what can we all do? Instead of worrying and fretting, everyone can go exercise the privilege that every U.S. citizen has. And that is to get out and cast your vote on November 5th.